Meantime, investigators are looking into what sparked a grass fire early this morning near Garden Highway. Krista Marshall's live for us in Sacramento with more on the details. And of course, the winds probably playing a part in this, Kristen. Yeah, they're not exactly sure whether it was a grass fire that turned into a house fire or vice versa. That's up to the investigators who are still kind of combing through the rubble and trying to determine what's going on. One engine left after the early morning fire, getting the call around 1 o'clock this morning after uh, folks over at SAC International's air traffic control tower noticed the flames off in the distance. Take a look at the video that was shot overnight as the flames just tore through this two-building house. Uh, no word as to whether or not anyone was inside. There are preliminary reports indicating that this could have been a foreclosure. So so it may have been vacant. Haven't seen much in the way of ambulances leaving here or traveling to the location. So that could be a good sign that this might just be some property damage. Now take a look at our other camera that's up closer to the scene. We're several feet still back, but we have a portable camera that is able to get up there. And the entire house just burnt down, down to basically ash and rubble. There is still that charred smell of smoke and kind of a campfire smell in the air here after the fire was burning for several hours and we're told that fire crews had a little bit of trouble dealing with some of the water. They were stringing hoses from several of the engines several hundred feet to get up to where the house was. There is kind of a creek here that they were thinking about possibly using as well, but luckily didn't have to go that route. Now that there's some daylight out here as we come back out here live out to uh, our camera here close to the live truck, you can see there's still lots of trees, lots of brush, lots of dead grass, which of course is always a major concern in these very hot summer months. Thankfully, we've had a nice couple of cool days and the wind has died off, which probably really helped them battling those flames in the early morning hours that didn't spread to more of this forest and brush around here. And what felt like we were in the middle of nowhere come, you know, four o'clock this morning when it was pitch black, all we had were dirt roads to kind of navigate around and some uh, headlights and cell phones we were using to walk around here. But there is a little bit of civilization. You can see some of the uh, part of the uh golf course just through the distance there. So uh, thankfully, so far, doesn't sound like there might be any injuries. We'll have to wait for the fire investigator to get out here and determine that exactly. All right, Kristen Marshall, thank you for the live report. Yeah, and again, we are going to have more winds and even wind gusts later on today, so we'll have to continue to watch that. If you like, I mean, uh, I'm not sure what you can do, but uh, I'm just documenting. <coughs> Who are you? I, uh, I used to live here uh, 12 days ago. I got on. No, no pictures? No, uh, there's this like, that you go in there and take pictures of your friends. They let me record when they interact with me. No. They did yesterday. <laughs> the sheriff's department okay, came and visited. I'm gonna walk you out. Come back here. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> well, I'll explain to you. When, if if there's a crime scene, a burglary or something, does uh -huh. the police let you walk in there? No, but there's no tape yeah. here. Like how okay. how how do I well, tell? There you. There's a fire department vehicle. You yeah, can but be on there. Well, That's Morgan Lesko. I I lived here 12 days ago. I had property in what looks like the burned down property. Okay. L E S K O. November 20th, 1981. Uh, well, David Tad Chow was the owner. How many? Uh, uh, it was uh, you know it came and went. Uh, there, there there were like six people living here. When yeah. we got evicted. Well, once somebody takes ownership of the property, mm -hmm. that's their property. Once you get evicted, it's not your property. You have to make a. You have to make. You know, with the owner, it's oh, I legally you can't even cross the property. That's trespassing. I don't know if they were they were told that. You guys were told that. I mean, but we're are we on the property here? Huh? 
Is this the problem? I, I can cut that off wherever I want. I'm legally a okay, police officer. Well, I, I mean, okay, well, I mean, I'm can, sorry, I'm I don't mean any disrespect, like, I, I just didn't, I yeah. didn't see any, there weren't any markings anywhere that this was a crime scene, like, okay. well, so. Yeah, I'm just telling you, that's why I said you cannot take photographs. Okay. We can put a tape all the way back to the end there. Alright, that, I mean, yeah. like, yeah, like, and I we, wouldn't have crossed that, you know, that's all I'm saying, like, that's all I'm saying. But they came in here, we brought them in here, yeah. so that's why there's yeah. no tape across here. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just telling you. Um, um, so, uh, who, how many people were living here? Uh, about, I bet about six, like, permanent, mm -hmm. uh, at the time, and there's about 30 people with property on the farm. We've been trying to get it off for the last six, 12 days. I've called Mr. Vasquez a couple times. He hasn't returned my calls. He only wanted to deal with the previous owner. Um, well, that's because, and I'll tell you why, because he, legally, you can't call and say, hey, I'm living here, blah, blah, blah. I, I understand, he but has he hasn't been cooperative with the, the previous owner either. Like, it's been 12 days, we only have 15, according to the law, to get our property back. And now, a lot, like, this, the rest of my property's been burned down, so I mean, that's going to add to the lawsuit, but like, but yeah, my birth certificate, passport, all, all my stuff's like, now well, gone, but. Is, uh, this, how do you know that this isn't a picture so far, you said? Oh, I, I don't know. All I know is my where's shit's Mr. burned. Where's Mr. Uh, Mr. Chow? Uh, he's downtown Sacramento. And he's living there? No, I mean, he was living here. He's just staying with friends on and off right now in the last 12 days. But I just saw him downtown. He told me what, he, he told me he had heard something had happened and he, and I offered to check it out with my camera. So I, I that's why I'm here. Okay, and what's your address? Uh, well, it was this. I haven't really. Uh, I, I haven't gotten. You stayed last two weeks. I've been with uh, Sarah, Sarah Perdan Thompson, who was staying here on and off, but she has a home of her own. So. Okay. I, I haven't uh, gotten her address down yet, or memorized or anything. But. And her name is Sarah. What? Perdan Thompson. Can you spell it? P R O D A N T H O M A S, I believe. Thomas or Thompson? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, Thomas. I'm sorry, my, my brain's. Okay. <laughs> and it's dash. Is there? Uh, I I, I don't. I'm not sure. Like I, I, it might it might be either way. Yeah. Okay. And what street does she live on? Um, she's on Rafferty, Rafferty Corridor Lane or something on McFarland Air Force Base. By or on? On. 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 Were you guys renting? Uh, we were renting through Tad, yes. And you were renting through who? Tad, the previous owner. And Tat? Uh, David Tat Chow. I'm sorry, we all call him Tat. T A T? Yeah. And where was he living? Uh, you mean here? Like, he was here for the last 38 of his 42 years. These folks have been here for 12 days and they've torn down a bunch of trees and... and, and did you have in the um, I mean like, I was gone the day they evicted us, they didn't give us any, we didn't have a week warning or anything when they evicted us. I was gone, they were given, the people who were here were given five minutes to get their stuff out. So I was wearing the same clothes the last 11 days. We showed up yesterday. I got like one, like, <laughs> they called the sheriffs on us. How I explained many, it to the sheriffs and they gave us question. 10 minutes. But like, How many days at, when he went to the bank and they foreclosed on him and it actually foreclosed? How many days? I truly cherish my months living and participating on Full Circle Farm. And I can't wait to be back on a farm in a similar situation. Growing organic, hopefully non-GMO fruits, veggies, and medicines. I did lose roughly two-thirds of my material possessions in the fire, but it was still all worth it. I recommend everyone try living on a farm for some amount of time, as we must become far closer to the food we eat. It's also much less risky when not trying to occupy land being taken by U.S. Bank and friends. Thank you so much for these experiences, Tat, and I'm so sorry for your losses. Much love.